Farm and Ranch News, Market Reports, and more, here's Emily Falkenberg with KLBK's Ag Journal, sponsored by FiberMax. Hi there, I'm Emily Falkenberg. Thanks for joining this week's Ag Journal. Well, West Texas is the largest cotton patch in the country, producing more than 25% of cotton in the U.S. And helping push the innovation of cotton seed varieties is BASF, which is making sure farmers get the best performing cotton by modifying different varieties to grow best here on the High Plains. I checked out their breeding program to see how they're working to provide these high quality varieties of cotton to farmers across this region of the Cotton Belt. Our goal at the end is to sell a product to the farmer that they can be profitable. And creating that goal is BASF's cotton breeding program. Their breeders are creating new varieties of Fibermax and Stoneville cotton that have been adapted to produce high yields under the South Plains growing conditions. We work together on drought tolerance, salt tolerance, and uh, it also yield and get in the, the details of, of how to make better varieties. Corey Mills is a breeder with BASF and says they use state-of-the-art technology to cross and test the different varieties of cotton. Where we find the best conventional line and then we'll send it into the greenhouse where they then ingress or put in the traits that the farmers want. We then get it back, we test it, and then we release it as a commercial product. We continue to try to find the best germplasm to cross with and then we test it. We actually have a winter nursery down in Costa Rica that we utilize and able to, uh, to work faster. Mills says they try and mimic the same farming practices and growing techniques farmers use to create authentic results. We use sprayers, we use tractors, we use G, uh, GPS on the planters. Everything that the farmers are using as well, we try to utilize that uh, to, for our plots. So we have cotton harvesters. Uh, they're, they're cotton strippers just like the farmers do, but it's kind of scaled down. Um, we have them retrofitted to what we need. But says it couldn't be done without his expert employees. We have great people working here. They're experts in their field, they're educated, they know what they're doing, and I would just say we have good people to be able to use the facilities. And a relationship with Texas Tech is pushing boundaries of innovation and creating high quality varieties of cotton for our West Texas producers. With all three of us working together, we, um, we can use them to run trials for us, to get data. We're also able to bounce ideas off of each other. You know, hey, this is kind of what we want. You know, how do we get there? And a lot of the Texas Tech professors have ideas and uh, push innovation. And I, I think that's key for, for the ag world. Now, BASF has breeding programs in California, Mississippi, Arizona, and Georgia that also create varieties that will adapt to those growing regions and their conditions as well. Now, here's a quick look at some ag events happening around the South Plains. The Southern Mesa Ag Conference is happening in La Mesa on January 15th at the Forest Park Community Center in La Mesa. It starts at 745 in the morning and you can call 872-3444 for more information. And the Texas Alliance for Water Conservation is hosting a water college on Thursday at the Lubbock Memorial Civic Center. It will be from 830 in the morning to 330 in the afternoon. Now, there is no fee to attend and lunch will be provided. You can find more information at TAWC.us. Now we'll go ahead and get a quick check of our ag forecast for the week.